Hey guys, what's going on? Ed here. Been a hot minute since I've made a normal video. Um, <laughs> I uh, I wanted to make this video and uh, go over some stuff that I've picked up recently, um, and I just kind of wanted to start getting back into doing YouTube videos again. You know, I've said this like nine times, but I I really do. Um, so I, I don't know how much editing will go into these. I don't know how much, uh, stuff will be going on with my, my channel, but I do have some reviews, uh, coming soon that I've been working on. Um, and long story short, I, I won't go into it too much, but my career path has changed for the worse and better, obviously due to Corona being, uh, rampant this year it's affected and uprooted a lot of people's lives and um things have uh, changed for me so i do have a lot more time to myself <laughs> so i figure i've got this set up here which i mainly take pictures for my ebay shop um but i keep looking at it and i think you know what you know i could i could do videos on this i could i could just do fun little videos that don't need a ton of editing or you know whatever but you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> so, I, uh, I decided I'd just get my phone out, and, um, I didn't have any of my reviews, reviews ready yet, but I thought I would just do some general updates, and just do something for my YouTube channel. Um, so, the last video I did was this <laughs> creepy, uh, weird thing, and a lot of people left some funny comments on it, thinking it was, like, me leaving, or, like, a suicide video, or some weird thing, but it was just, uh, me and Mike, um, an old friend of mine who was visiting, we were just messing around, um, at, like, three in the morning, and we made that video in, like, three hours, and we are like, let's, like, make some weird Gundam ARG thing, and we just, we did it, I uploaded it, and, like, we just kind of forgot about it, and for the most part, I've forgotten about it, um, but every time I check my channel, I'm like, oh yeah, that's the last thing I put up there, like, over a year ago, Pro people are probably, uh, concerned with my well-being, <laughs> but, um, it was, it was nothing other than that, it was just, like, a funny, uh, whatever, you know, dicking around video that him and I made, nothing more, um, we were gonna do something with it, but we decided not to in the end, so, it is what it is, and, uh, probably nothing else will ever happen, <laughs> so, um, anyway, let's start this off, um, so, I've accumulated a lot of figures and toys and Gumpla, um, but there's a lot of stuff in this video that isn't Gundam stuff, as you guys know, I'm a huge Transformers fan, um, I collect Transformers, and with Earthrise and Siege, um, and Kingdom and all that stuff that's been happening lately, it's been really fun to collect Transformers again, um, and I just have a pile of stuff sitting on this table that I haven't done anything with yet because of work, and, uh, I travel for work now, so I was away for a couple weeks in Pittsburgh, and there was a toy store there, and I bought a bunch of stuff, and I was like, you know what, this stuff's, like, too cool not to show off at least, at least in a haul video, if not a, a full review, so, um, so the first part of this video is gonna be a lot of Transformers and random things that aren't Gundam related and then at the end of the video I'm gonna go over some Gunpla some Gundam stuff that I got and uh, I want to talk about a couple things that I have coming out in the future um, I have a review for Bluefin that I'm doing um, On some Transformers kits, but again, I'll uh, I'll get to that later on. So anyway uh, Let's see. Um, I guess I'll start with a Gundam figure. So these recently came out uh, These are the Gundam universe figures and I've been really excited for the Easy 8 because we haven't gotten a Damashi of it. Uh, we haven't really gotten too much love for 8th MS team in uh, Damashi or figure format in current days and years. So it was really cool that they announced they were doing an Easy 8. Um, you can get these at Target. You can get them at GameStop, which is amazing to know that you can actually get Gundam stuff at Target now, which is like mind-boggling. So I picked this up when I was out in Pittsburgh for work, because I saw it at Target, but I had already ordered one on, uh, on eBay, so, it's got some stuff taped to it, I ordered this one on eBay, so I've got two, 
Uh, one of these is going to be going to Mike. He bought it off me. And that is from dstartoys.com. And normally I don't really care who sends me stuff, but they sent me a nice little letter here. And they gave me this, which is a uh, loose joint compound fixer, which is really cool. Um, I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm assuming it works. I do have some loose joints that I'm going to try this out on. But if you guys want to pick this up, uh, check out dstartoys.com. Uh, really good eBay sellers. They, they don't upcharge. Um, and so I got one of these from them. So that was really nice of them to include a little sample of that. Um, but this is really nice. This is a really nice looking figure. Um, I really can't wait to get into that. And, uh awesome awesome box art so easy eight <sighs> got two of them here's another random thing I picked up doesn't have anything to do with uh, Gundam War Transformers but I finally got myself a Figma Widowmaker really like Figma Widowmaker um, good figure and uh, somebody in one of my discords was selling it for dirt cheap so I picked it up and uh, I don't play Overwatch like at all. I played it a little bit when it came out. Um, but Widowmaker is a fun character to play as. I like her character. I wanted it, so I grabbed that. And here's the other random non robot thing that I grabbed recently. It's the new Marvel's Legends Mystique. Uh, these new Marvel Legends figures are incredible. They updated the articulation on their their whole system. I don't, I don't know too much about Marvel Legends, but they changed the whole thing about how they make them. Um, and this this one is fantastic. I fiddled with one, and uh, the articulation's crazy. It's smooth. It's more fluid. Um, it's very cool. So anyway, um, on to Transformers. So here's a non-Transformer Transformer thing that I picked up when I was in Georgia, actually, recently. I was there for Vegeta 8259's wedding, um, and I was staying, again, with my buddy Mike. And I missed the pre-order on this. Um, and this came out a little while ago, but I was really happy to finally pick one up. It's a Generation 2 handheld game by Tiger, and I don't know if this is like an old thing that they made a reissue of or something, um, but I love G2, uh, even though all the box art is G1, and I just thought this was neat that they, they came out with this, so I, I was really happy to find one of these, uh, again, since I missed the pre-order on Pulse for it, so I was happy to find that. Um, okay, so normally when I do stuff like this, I like to say, like, I got all this stuff here, all this stuff here, but everything's just in a big pile, so I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff. <laughs> um, here's another inbox thing. I grabbed this one, uh, from a store in Pittsburgh. This is the Transformers, I believe Superlink is the Japanese name for the Energon series, um, RC repaint into the Medic bot. Uh, I think her name... I, I don't know if she had the name Lifeline yet, but it's its basically just an RC repaint as a, uh, a green medic bot. And I thought this was so cool, um, especially in box. It's... I don't know if it's an exclusive or whatever, but it's uh, its literally just Energon RC, but in green and blue. And, uh, that looks amazing. Cool, the, the clear blue and green Energon stuff is so cool, so... I'm a huge RC nut, um, and I never thought I'd see this one outside of Japan or a really ridiculous price on eBay. Like, I had it in the shop for 30 bucks, so I was really, really surprised and happy to grab that. And quick shout-out to them. Um, I'm going to start going over all the stuff I picked up from them. It's uh, D&E Collectibles over in Pittsburgh. They have uh, Facebook and eBay and Instagram, all that stuff, and awesome guys. They gave me discounts every time I went in there. Low prices, great prices, and uh, incredibly rare stuff. Uh, just stellar store. So if you guys are ever in Pittsburgh, check out DE Collectibles. Super cool guys. Um, so they helped me get... They actually had some stuff in stock that... Oh, everything's falling over. Sorry, Bumblebee. Out of the way. Um, so, some other stuff. They had this. This is the Robot Masters uh, Victory Leo and Star Saber set that combine into Victory Saber. I kind of want to do a review on this. I've had this 
knockoff of this one since I was a kid, and it was one of my favorite toys. And I've been hunting this, but I can never find it on eBay for less than 100. Um, and it is used, but it's complete. Everything's in there. So you can see he combines fully transformable into both modes. Just awesome, awesome transformer. And uh, just a little gunk on the box, but and the collector card was cut out. Um, but he took he took some uh, some money off of it because again, it is used. And everything's in there, nothing's broken. Got it for a really good price, so I'm happy about that. It's crazy comparing this thing to the knockoff that I had as a kid. I think it was the Quick Change. I don't think they gave them a name, but it was like a Quick Change series. But uh, they made knockoff Transformers and sold them through Big Lots. But uh, the Robot Master series was really cool. It was kind of the thing to get before uh, Generations, in my opinion. And since we never got a Generation Star Saber or Victory Leo, this is like the best action figure you can get of him. Uh, I'm trying currently to collect all the Victory Leo and uh, Star Saber stuff. So that was a, a holy grail of mine. And I was so, so, so happy to pick that up. Um, and let's go into some other stuff I got from that store. So I got that, the, the RC. This is... Um, Transformers, it's the the Japanese series, I, or the Japanese uh, line of generation stuff, I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, it's not, uh, it's United, I think it's Transformers United, um, this is their cup, and this has the eye gear head, and they had this with uh, that head on it, and then it came with the, uh, the default head, and then the other head that comes with the eye gear set, so it, com it came all together, and uh, it was... I think it was like 35 or 40 bucks for the whole thing, and that, that's a great price. It's a pretty expensive figure if you have to get it in the box set. I like Cup. I really love this. Um, I love this head with the, the cigar. I've wanted this since I was a kid, and I, I just love this. I love the colors. He's this cool, like, teal color, and compared to the... Uh, the OG colors from the Generations or whatever figure it was. That's a really cool repaint. Um, and then moving on to this beautiful, beautiful bastard. So I believe that set with Cup came in a set with um, a bunch of different Transformers. And this was one that came with it. This is a clear crystal blue and gold and teal hot rod. And I saw this and I've... I didn't know what it was at first, and then I, I took a second look at it, and I was like, oh my god, that's the clear one. Um, and the guy had it for, again, really cheap. I think it was like $35, $40, or something like that. And it was brand new in the clamshell. It wasn't in the box, because, it's again, it's a three-pack. But, oh my lord, this is like, this may be my favorite Transformer to date that I own. I love the clear guys. Wheels are clear. Just a beautiful bot. Just such a such a cool repaint, recolor. I think um, it looks like Sideburn or whatever his name was from the uh, Transformers R.I.D. the original one. But that is a oh, I'm a sucker for clear stuff. And uh, when I saw that, I had to grab it. So I took him home with me. And uh, yeah, I, I'm in love with this thing. This is uh, one of my favorite Transformers to date. So again. Shout out to that shop. <laughs> and, uh, the last thing I got was... I think it's the last thing I got. I picked something up for Mike. Oh, yeah, I got this little... It's kind of random, but... Little figure of Power Glide from Dark of the Moon. It was five bucks, and uh, I love Power Glide. And I love, uh, I love this figure of him. I had it as a kid, and I don't know what happened to my original one, so it was five bucks, so I grabbed it. Um, I picked up some stuff from Mike there, but I think the biggest deal for me was this two-pack and these were a comic-con exclusive but when transformers prime came out they came out with this set with a pink rc and a new york city cab bumblebee and this they're they're both the first edition toys um bumblebee transforms i just like him in the taxi mode because I, I already have this this figure so i like the the taxi logo thing on it it's cool so i'll probably display him like this um, but the real gem I was after was RC, and I love, again, I'm a huge, huge RC buff, <laughs> so this was a, this was a, I, I had to get it, I've never seen this set for less than 100, he had it for 70, 
and I haggled the price down even more. And uh, they're basically mint. They were open, but the guy that they got all these from was a like a big collector, I guess, and he displayed everything really professionally and kept them clean and tight. And I'm so so happy to finally have this version of RC. I wanted it since I was a kid. So uh, shout out again to DNE Collectibles. And then they they came with the uh, the humans from the show, and then. There's RC's weapons, and then Bumblebee's gun is somewhere in there, but it doesn't matter. Um, I don't think they ever made a figure of Miko, which is kind of weird, but who cares? <laughs> um, there's another Transformer. This was uh, on Big Bad Toy Store. They finally reissued the arms Micron Arachnid, and anybody that's been following my channel uh, since I was a teenager, I had this exact figure that Krosama sent me years and years and years ago. Um, and uh, I sold it a long time ago. And they reissued it, and I, uh, I grabbed it because I just rewatched Prime. It's the 10th anniversary. And she's not the greatest figure. I remember that very, very uh, much so from having it as a kid. But it's, um, it's cool. It's a cool toy. It's a cool, fun figure. It's the only one they made of Arachnid. Um, and I like it, so I grabbed it. And, uh, let's see. Uh, some more loose stuff. Ugh. I, uh, grabbed this off eBay. Always wanted a Windblade. So I finally grabbed, uh, the cheapest version. I, I like it. It's a cool figure. Uh, they definitely... This is the, uh, Generations 30th. I like the clear sword, but that face, um face needs some help, so may end up repainting that in the future. But I grabbed her. And here's another Transformer. So this was originally mine. And uh, I traded it to Mike a while ago, and then he traded it back to me when I visited him in Georgia recently. And this is the Japanese version of the Bendy Prime as it's called. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous figure. Uh, one of my favorite Armada figures of all time. He fits in he kind of fits in well with some current generations figures in my opinion even if he's a little small um but i'm really happy to have this back i've had this for a long time or i had it for a long time before i traded it to him but i'm happy to have him back he's an awesome toy awesome figure i love scourge nemesis prime so he's beauty and uh this one's kind of funny it's nothing special uh he's missing his gun and he's very loose um, but I found this at a thrift store. It was a dollar, so I got him. <laughs> I already have this toy, so it's whatever. But he was a buck. Why not? Uh, here's some loose stuff. I got all this together, so I might as well show it off all together. So there was this bag of G2 parts, and I needed the missiles for my Optimus Prime, and it came with all these little guns. And he was selling all these spy changers separately. This was at some flea market. Again, and when I was out for work, I picked these up um, at a local place. And it's Bumblebee, Soundwave, and Sideswipe from the G2 GoBots series. They were cheap. They were cool. So I grabbed that. I grabbed this bag of parts because I needed the missiles for my Laser Prime. And I felt, I felt bad buying these guys without their guns or vice versa, taking the guns away. So I just kept them as a set. And then I got these two guys, and I didn't know they were incomplete. Uh, it's two of the Jet guys from G2. They're both missing one arm, so sadly they are incomplete, but hopefully I can find an arm in the future for them, because they are cool figures. <laughs> um, going along with the big arachnid, I got the uh, very, very tiny one here. I got that for five bucks at another store <laughs> in Pittsburgh. Um, she was five bucks, and it's a lot cheaper than what other stores want for her, which is like $15, which ridiculous like the rc flame war and arachnid the the chicks basically from prime uh the little tiny legends guys i think that's what they're called or the uh cyberverse whatever whatever the name is they go for a lot of money um and i don't know why people pay such a outrageous prices because they're not the best toys but arachnid looks really good and honestly this one almost looks better than the the deluxe one <laughs> but i was happy to get her for five bucks and 
I got this back from Mike. It's another thing I traded to him. It's the Energon Star Saber, or the Energon Saber, whatever the hell it's called. And again, this was mine. I traded it to him. I don't know why I did, <laughs> but I traded him back for something. I can't remember what. Um, but he, they are missing some pieces. This one's missing a leg. It's missing the landing gear. This one's missing an arm, but nice to have this back hopefully i can find the rest of the pieces somewhere but it's a cool piece to have this is another thing i got from mike it's the love live zaku bust i've always wanted this one i have a collection of a ton of these uh, busts and uh i really wanted this one i think he just gave this one to me so shout out to mike love you man love you man and he also traded me this, which is the Perfect Effect Jinrai that goes with the Takara Jinrai, like the big one. Um, it's a set that gives it a new head and uh, gives you this little figure of Jinrai, and he, he didn't want it that much, so he traded it to me. So he transforms into an engine block, and I think you can actually put this on the, the Generations or the, the Takara version. But I, haven't yet. I, just, I just like having this really cool tiny tiny little figure of Jinrai. Oh, there you go. Now this guy I picked up at a local shop. Um, it's Classics Optimus Prime. Again, I, I don't know what happened to my original one. I had it years ago. And anybody that remembers uh, my channel and stuff that I used to do like, yeah, like eight, ten years ago, I had a Classics Prime and a Nemesis Prime and I weathered them and I was going to make this like big series with them and it just didn't go anywhere so I ended up with a, a really crappy prime and I don't know what happened to him but I decided to buy this because there, there's a local shop near me that they have amazing deals amazing stuff it's called play with this toys uh, the owner's a gem awesome dude and he always gets in like every week there's something new in there um, this huge transformers cabinet so I, when I saw this and this which I believe is the parallax trailer uh, together, I was like, you know what? It's it's time for me to re-get a Classics Optimus Prime. It was a it was an iconic piece that was missing in my collection, so I'm happy to have another Classics Prime. And he was uh, he was like one of the first ones I ever got for the Generations line, so it's nice to have a, an old friend back, so to speak. And the trailer's pretty great to have as well. So let's see here, uh, some current things I've gotten. I'm really into these uh, little Battle Master guys from Siege and Earthrise, and I have a bunch of these already. These are just current ones that have come out. Um, they've been out for a while. I just haven't opened them yet for no particular reason. These guys remind me of uh, Cyclonus's Minicons from Transformers Armada, and these guys were on sale at a, a Ross when I was out there buying some stuff for work, so I picked them up. So I'll unbox all these little guys and put them with the rest of my army of them eventually. Here's, this is all, most of this is just current stuff that I've picked up. I uh, finally got an impactor. I found this at a toy, uh, not toy sale, a toy fair thing I went to. It was like a flea market. The guy had it for 15 bucks, five less than retail. So I finally have an impactor. And this is new stuff that's come out recently. This is a... Uh, Contestant Alicon, Alicon, sure. Uh, he just came out recently, and here's Smokescreen. I just haven't opened them yet. Um, they will be opened eventually. But and then and the last thing here is uh, the Seekers. I have Starscream already, and I finally grabbed Skywarp and Thundercracker after the craze of them getting bought and. Uh, and uh, flipped is over, so I got these for retail, which is nice. And let's see. only two more things till we get to the gunpla, guys. <laughs> this is cool. So again, this was at that local store near me in Philadelphia. So this is the Comic Con exclusive Transforms Prime Dead Cliff Jumper. So it's uh, it's in the box still, but this can come out pretty easily. So. It's this dead version of the first edition Cliff Jumper from episodes like one through three or whatever, uh, where he's like the zombie, and it comes with this freaking head. That is so cool. I think you can wear it as a mask, but 
<laughs> I don't know. I just I love dumb shit like this. So that's really cool. It's got a new head. It's all cracked, and then the rest I think is just stickers. But this is a great mold. It's a great toy. I love Clump Jumper in uh, in Transformers Prime, and this thing is normally like seventy bucks, I think, and he had it for what thirty five, forty. Yeah, $35, so I wasn't going to say no to that. And the last Transformers thing that I got is this. This is also uh, something I got from my friend Mike when I was out there. This is the reformatted Gladius, Galadus, Galadus, Galadus asterisk mode from Mastermind Creations. This is a third-party Transformer of uh, the Lost Light coloring of Hot Rod. It's an amazing toy. Uh, it's obviously been opened, but uh, he was nice enough to give me the box with the figure when I left. So, cool toy. Might do a review on this. Uh, he's just really fun. It's like a really, really good version of IDW Hot Rod, and just Hot Rod in general. Put this over here. So, and we are going to... Oh, one last Transformer. Okay, I lied. So there's one other Transformer I got. So this one's been making... Um, making the rounds recently and it's kind of a it's a hot item right now this is the transformers uh third party ex01 nice c by big firebird toys big firebird toy uh it's a very promiscuous looking version of rc with some uh, tits uh, it's just a cool, like, version of RC that uh, this company made. It's an amazing, amazing toy. I'm sure a million people have reviewed this thing by now. Um, but the box is really, really pretty. It's like, got that, that cool, like, metallic shit on there. Um, but yeah, awesome toy. Um, really, really happy I picked this up. Pretty pricey, but it's, it's worth what you pay for it, essentially. It's, um, you get your money's worth. So, great figure. Really happy to have that one. And now it's time for some Gundam stuff. So, let's go over a couple things that I got that are open. Okay. So, here's the 160 scale Wing Zero. This was given to me by uh, Mike, I guess he's my friend too, <laughs> Kyle. Uh, he's a visual effects artist. Um, I believe that's what he's his career title is but he's a cool dude and he had this laying around and he was trying to get rid of it and he's like you can just have this for free so it's a very nice model like it's it's pretty cool for for its time um I, he didn't have the guns uh but it has the shield somewhere i don't know where i put it but i'm gonna be using this as the base for custom anyway um awesome awesome figure honestly like way ahead of its time just uh just really nicely proportioned i'm sure that if somebody else wanted to keep it as the Wing Zero, they could do this up in a really good paint job and a really good, uh, really good look for it. It's it's nicely proportioned, unlike a lot of the stuff from the 90s. So this is a gem. This is a really cool figure. So if you can get one of these, uh, I suggest it because I'm not a big fan of the Wing Zero. But if I was, I would definitely keep this the way that it is. You can just you can just chill right there. This is another thing I got from Mike. This was a gift from the kindness of his heart. I can't even fit it all on screen, but this is a, uh, a vinyl, a jumbo vinyl unicorn figure. Um, I He's big into collecting vinyls and stuff like that, and I've got one other one. I've got the gun cannon, and my girlfriend has one of the Zaku. She has Garma Zaku, and uh, he's had this thing forever, but for some reason he decided to give it to me, and I took it because it's fucking cool so a little yellow on the back here but i could care less um he's had this thing for so long uh, since we were both younger and uh thank you mike that was that was really really sweet of you to give me that even though i've thanked you a million times in person for some reason if you're watching this long ass video thank you again so a very cool very cool figure that will be going into my collection now a little while ago, Bluefin did this big event thing where you could buy P Bandai kits. You could buy um, uh, what's this, what, the white base or the Gundam base exclusive uh, stuff. So my girlfriend and I put together this huge order, and we got uh, she got some kits uh, that are in our backlog, and I got some as well. And I guess I will go over what I got. So here is the first item. This is the 
of these guys. This is the clear Moon Gundam. Uh, I have wanted this for so long, and it was really cool that they offered this because people were scalping it on eBay and every other site that I checked. So it's uh, this is one of my favorite kits that came out uh, in 2019, 2018, 2018, I think. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome kit. Uh, so much customizability. Uh, just a really cool design, and I really wanted the clear one, because again, I'm a sucker for clear stuff, so really happy to have that, uh, and you know what, I'm going to go over, show you the last clear one I got that wasn't RX, so this is the Pal Rider, another favorite of mine, uh, but not as much as my other friend Jeremy's, uh, this is his favorite mobile suit, um, and I, I really like the, uh, the Pal Rider. So I thought it was cool that they made a clear version of it. Um, I customized, or I started customizing my last one. So fortunately, I, uh, I lost a bunch of the parts. So it'll be nice to just have like a stock Pal Rider um, on my shelf that's clear. So that was nice. Um, this, and the rest is all RX-78s. So this is the clear SDCS one. Looks awesome. I I like the SDCS kits, but I still think that the older SDs are better. Um, I think they try too hard to give SDs articulation, but I think it's cooler when they uh, when they don't move as much and they just look nice. So you know, this is from the Gundam base. This was uh, this packaging is like the exclusive line for these. So there's that one. There's another Gundam Base exclusive. This is the Metallic Gloss Injection RX-78. Another just kind of random pickup. It's got the cool uh, cool base. It's just kind of a glossy metallic version of the Gundam. Pretty self-explanatory. It's that. And then the same exact kit. But this is the clear version. And I'm a sucker for clear stuff, which I've said probably five times in this video. And uh, this one is already built, so I can show that off. Yes, I actually, I actually built a kit recently. <laughs> this is the clear uh, high-grade RX-78-2. It's the newer version. It looks awesome. Um, I don't have any clear RX-78, so this is the first one, I believe, that I own. And uh, he's beautiful. I'm very happy to have him. And I hope he's happy to be in my collection. And the next one is one that also I've already built, but this one I didn't buy from the Bluefin event. This is the Beyond Global RX-78-2. Um, the box got a little smashed up on the way here, but there's a uh, box, which I'm sure all of you have seen a million times by now. I'm way, way behind on the, on the list of relevance here, but it's a great kit. We snapped this one together as well a couple weeks ago awesome design. I, I really like what they did with it. Um, I, whenever an RX comes out, I try to get it, at least one version of it, because it is uh, it is my favorite Gundam aside from the Crossbone. And uh, this one's really nice. I, I like this. I really like what they did with it. I don't think the proportions are as wonky as everyone says they are. I think when you actually have it in hand, I think it uh, feels a lot different, and it's just, it's got crazy posability. Just insane. So I like this one. I don't know if this will be the new definitive RX. I still think the title goes to the uh, the uh, revive one, but this is a, a great version of it to get. It's a, it's a nice change. It's interesting how they did everything on it. Um, so it's it's cool. And uh, if you like the RX and you can get one of these, I definitely suggest picking it up. It is a cool kit. So. I think that will about do it. Um, I, I guess here's another couple things that I've I picked up. I picked up the, the G1 Optimus Prime kit by Flame Toys, and I recently built the Megatron, and this will lead into uh, what I want to talk about next. So um, I am doing a review for uh, Bluefin uh, on Megatron and Drift, and that will hopefully be coming out within probably a week or two of this upload. Um, I want to review that. And there's a couple other building style video things that I want to do. 
but I'm not entirely sure how I want to approach it, but I, I just want to make stuff again. <laughs> I feel like it's been too long. Um, I've, I don't know, I've, I've said it so many times where I just don't know what to do with my content, I don't know what to do with my, my Gunpla building and trying to find a happy medium where I can just enjoy myself and make content. Um, so hopefully we can start getting back to that. If this video is too long and you didn't watch it, sorry. And if you stuck through the whole thing, I appreciate it. Um, the, uh, I, I don't know, I don't want to ramble, but <laughs> I'm trying to just be the, the best version of myself I can be lately, especially. Um, and I'm, I'm finally settling and getting my my life in order the way that I want it to be. So hopefully I can start creating content and putting it out there on YouTube again because I really, I really do miss it. YouTube was where I started everything. It was the, the place where I started reviews and doing videos and interacting with communities, you know, Transformers people and Gumpla, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So I would like to just make stuff again. <laughs> I, you know, as weird as that sounds, I just, I want to enjoy creating again. So, hopefully you guys like this video. Um, apologies for the last video that a bunch of people saw and were, like, freaked out by. Um, but yeah, uh, I have Twitter and Instagram, and I'll put all that crap in the link below. Um, but I guess the, the thing that comes next is I want to hear what you guys want to see reviewed. Um, I will have a video on the Flame Toys, Megatron, and Drift models in the future. But I'd really like to know what else you guys would like to see from my channel. Do you want to see more Gumplo with Ed videos? Do you want to see Transformers reviews again? You know, what, what is it that you want to see me uh, see me do? Because I really have no direction on this channel anymore. So that about wraps it up. Um, again, if you uh, see this video in a timely manner, go thank or go uh, congratulate Henry on his wedding. Uh, that was a really lovely thing to go to. And uh, go check Mike out. I'll put his thingamajig down in the description below. And uh, that's about it, guys. So I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.